Who of you guys still have some 80s or 90s oak furniture in your house? All right, be honest. I know. I We grew up with a ton of it. Mom, do you still have any? No, I got rid of my last piece about seven years ago. Well, that's because we thought you couldn't do anything with oak and it had to look this way. But we're going to show you guys how to make oak stylish again. It's coming back. Well, I don't know if that's true, but we're going to make it modern so that it doesn't stand out in your home. All right, let's do it. I saw this on Facebook Marketplace and Grab Pops, we ran right over. It was only $20. We do. But when we got there, this gal, she was so cool and she was a nurse. And she you decided to connected, just connected, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> we did. So she decided to give it to me for free. Gotta love free. I know. I would have even paid forty dollars for this dresser. I really love the shape of it. Yeah, it's cool. And I guess her teenage boys had it for years, and you could kind of tell. I mean, it was <laughs> the greasiest rough. thing I've ever touched. I mean, it really was. The greasiest yeah. piece of furniture we've cleaned. Uh-huh. Made a total mess. And then, <laughs> Mom, were you saying maybe they used it for axe throwing practice? I don't know. There were, like, deep gouges all over it. I'm thinking they took a pocket knife to it more than once. Yeah. Yeah. And then as I was cleaning, I actually came across jelly stuck in these grooves and oh. a Jolly Rancher stuck to the inside of the cabinet. <laughs> You know, that's kind of payback. That reminds me of, of when you and your friends did jello wrestling. <laughs> and we made you, like, go in and take a shower afterwards. We found jello for years stuck on our walls. I don't know how it got there. <laughs> so the thought here is to make the drawers go to raw wood, keep those natural and then to paint the body because the top has a lot of water damage and it's just made of particle board. Yeah, underneath that, that really cool oak, it's a veneer <laughs> and there's particle board. Who thought? Who and knew? I think with all the wood filling we're going to have to do anyways with all those deep gouges, we're definitely going to have to paint. Yes. So we're just going to get started with the 60 grit and get off as much as we can of this finish. I don't know if you could see this at the beginning, but the veneer on top was all bubbly. And apparently it had, you know, gotten some water damage or something. So after you sanded it down, you can really see all the water spots everywhere. You know, everywhere. all the spots that we kind of are practically shaving off while we sand. So then after that 60 grit, we moved to 120. And we'll go up to 180 as well, just to make it nice and smooth again. Okay. You guys, thank you so much for being here and watching this video. We hope you'll take a moment to subscribe and also to give this video a like. It actually makes a huge difference and helps YouTube promote our stuff and help our little business grow so that we can actually make an income doing this so I can continue yeah. to stay home with my kids. Oh, and check out the grooves on these drawers. I just love sand and grooves. <laughs> She's being sarcastic. <laughs> I know. Yeah, actually, you know, these drawers sanded down pretty nice, but the grooves, you have to do those by hand. And that took a long time. It did, but the grooves are what make these drawers. I it really know. gives it such character and the cool handles, so. It, it's, it's worth it. I say that because I left for Colorado and Mom had to finish all the sanding. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Oh, anytime, dear. She's being sarcastic <laughs> again. <laughs>
So now we need to address those pocket knife marks. I'm assuming they're pocket knives. All I could be making over. that up. All <laughs> but over. All over the top and the front of this. So we're just using a basic wood filler from Ace, pushing it in deep, flattening it out, and then we'll sand it right off. I don't know, how many times do we wood fill sand? Wood fill sand. I think four or five. <laughs> it was a lot. What a process. You guys, we have a big announcement. What is it? We are going to be guest speakers at the Furniture Flipping Summit. Yay! Which is an online free furniture flipping workshop for everyone to attend. Whether you're a beginner, whether you're a pro, there's a ton of different classes talking about all different topics and levels of experience. And we hope you'll join us. It's free. We'll include the link below. And yes. And it's going to be awesome. So again, that's in two weeks starting May 17th. Join us. You know, when you get a piece of furniture, you don't always know it at first. But after you start working with it, you find that there are problems. And this piece certainly had a problem. When we turned it over on its back, we found that there had been water damage. It wasn't structurally sound. Yeah, that trim was just kind of floating around. <laughs> yes, so we, you know, we had to stop what we were doing and make some repairs. Absolutely. We want to make sure to get it screwed in nice and tight so it doesn't fall off for the next owner. We did find that there were a few areas on the base of this unit that were just crumbling. So we got out our trusty Bondo and just patched them up because this is like the strongest stuff we know of. Bondo to the rescue. Woo! I love that this dresser has lots of drawers and it even has a cabinet that's meant for a shelf, although the shelf is missing. So we're gonna solve that problem. I have this great birch plywood that's gonna keep a nice light stain so it'll match the drawers. It's gonna look so great when it's all in. And look at you go on that table saw, girl. Woo, woo, woo. I mean, oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> So since this is just a raw piece of plywood, we definitely want to sand it down and get it nice and smooth like something you might buy in a store. Danny, why are you ironing that board? What, everyone doesn't iron their wood? Is it wrinkled? Well, not quite. We want to make this look like a solid piece of wood rather than plywood. So I'm using this awesome veneer edging tape that you just iron right on because there's a glue adhesive on the back. And yeah, once you kind of sand the edges, it looks like a solid piece of wood. It's nice. beautiful. Even though it's nighttime, I still just popped over into my garage real quick. And it's so nice just to be able to hang out in here, get a little bit of work done, and still be totally available for my three teenagers. Because if any of you have teenagers, you know, they don't always need mom. But when they want mom, it's really nice to be around. So I'm so grateful for this job and that we're starting to make some money <laughs> so that I can do this as a full-time job and be there for my kids. You guys are making that possible. So thanks for being here and watching.
after all the wood fill, the bondo, the sanding, there were a lot of spots on this piece that were just a mess. And we thought we better put some primer on them. That's right. So we just did a spot prime that will help cover those uneven areas so that the whole piece will take paint in an even way. That's a lot of spots, Danny. Why don't we just prime the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I practically did. We mainly just need to cover all those raw places. Apparently there's a lot more raw wood and raw particle board and raw veneer than I thought there was. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting this whole project to get to this stage. As soon as I saw this listing on Facebook, I knew we needed color in those handles and I love the way it's turning out. Mom, you're really messy. <laughs> I know, it looks like an old lady putting lipstick on an airplane, right? <laughs> That's okay, we can clean it up. time that's my favorite time and Danny grabbed her Fuji paint sprayer and we love this Fuji paint sprayer don't we don't we <laughs> <laughs> yes I think we say that every video we'll stop being annoying about it I promise <laughs> one of these days but seriously you guys if you are in the market for anything you see us using we have descriptions below and links to Amazon, and when you use those, we do earn a small commission, so thank you. At no extra cost to you, so thanks for using those links, guys. That's right. On these raw doors and drawers, we asked Instagram what you guys thought we should do because we were thinking we were gonna do a white paint wash over it. But we also tested out this antique white stain, which really wasn't very white at all. It kept the wood looking very raw and natural, which our Instagram peeps loved. So you guys helped us narrow it down and that's what we're using. It's Rust-Oleum Antique White Stain and Poly. So we only did one coat and it's totally sealed and it looks amazing. It really does look amazing. I have my doubts about this stuff, but it turned out fantastic, you know, and it said it was supposed to be semi-gloss, but it came out looking pretty matte. Matte and raw, so kind of the look we were going for. Most of you know we live in Phoenix, Arizona, and whew, not only is it getting quite warm, but our climate is dry, which can be a blessing and a curse. But in this case, we've really learned to work with it as far as painting, and it's one of the reasons we spray. The paint just dries too fast if we're brushing or rolling it on. But because it's so dry and we're spraying, we can get in a ton of coats in one day that you just can't do in more humid places. How many coats? Well, we primed in the morning, did three coats of blue, and later in the evening, did two more coats of poly. So wow. six coats in one day. I love how this piece came out. I do too. I really want it for my own house, but. I love that color. I know, so we're gonna sell this. We got it for free, as you remember, and really not much went into it. I already had that wood we used for the shelf, and then it was just 
the supplies of the sandpaper, paint, and poly, so $30 of cost. Nice. And we're hoping to sell it for $375, which we think is really reasonable for our Arizona market. So it should go fast. We'll keep you updated. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you have an amazing day. Aloha. Aloha.